going on everybody uh, today I'm gonna be showing you how to assemble your Chira this is a Garrett GTX 3582 and as you can see I already got the back plate on which is uh, this ring all the way around the compressor wheel and it's a big snap ring I would recommend using two people to get that snap ring in that connects the Chira to the back plate but yep once you get that on uh, you can set it inside your compressor I recommend you oil the seal that's between the uh, compressor and the back plate oil it before you put the snap ring in but anyway there's two sets of hardware this is the compressor hardware then the tile um, turbine housing hardware and it's actually really easy. I'm going to start with the turbine housing actually because it's smaller. It's just easier to do. So what you're going to do, set the turbine side in there. Be nice and gentle. And these have a lip on one side and those lips are going to go down. And this locks the, uh, the chira right down to the turbine housing. And you take your six bolts. Get them all in there. It's a really easy process actually. And if your hardware doesn't come with your housing, I recommend going to ATP Turbo. And they got pretty much anything you can think of for any housing that you're using. My tile uh, turbine housing actually came with the hardware. And I actually ordered a set separately. So, so when you go to put one of these bolts in, you're... Uh, your flange is going to hit up on it, but you can just turn it because it's not tightened all the way down and get it out of the way and get that bolt in. Now for now, I'm just going to snug these because, I mean, I'm going to have to clock it anyway once the turbo gets on the car. So I don't want them too tight so I'm not fighting with them later. And I like to go every other one and kind of tighten it like a wheel. Lug nuts, you know. And we just got them snug. Now the turbine housing is on the turbo. I just like to spin it a little bit. Make sure there's no like rubbing anywhere. Make sure it's all in the right place. Now we can put our compressor housing on. Like I said, just be gentle putting these down in here so you don't hit one of your blades on something and ding it up. And these kind of feel a little more rounded on one side, so I put the flatter side down. I, you probably can't see it. I can barely see it with my eyes. But I, can, I feel it. When uh, putting the bolts in, just make sure they got some Loctite on them. So they don't back out later. Then I'm going to go through and do the same thing. Just tighten these down. Not tight, tight. Just snug. That way I can clock the turbo later.
So when you set the back plate down into the compressor housing, it should lay nice and flat with this lip to the the back plate to the compressor housing. There's a little lip and it should lay nice and flat. And the uh, little uh, flanges just go right over and lock it into place. Got them all snugged down and the turbo is actually together. Now I'm just going to spin it once again. Make sure it's not rubbing anywhere. Make sure everything's assembled straight and she's not making any obnoxious noise so that's how I know she's in the right place. And there she is. If you're buying a new Chira, just make sure there's no restrictors in the oil inlets. Otherwise, it will burn up your turbo later if you are planning on running high boost to it. I don't know why they put them in there. Alright, thanks for watching.